the YouTube, it's Eric. And uh, I'm going to try to keep this video pretty quick. Uh, I'm just going to be commenting on something that I've noticed uh, lately. And that is a lot of recent uh, hip-hop uh, icons, big, big popular rappers, are speaking at Jesuit Georgetown University. Yeah, and that's why, and like, when I examine like the so-called like conscious rap music that's coming out, like a lot of it is like, it's, it's a fake deep rap music. They're not really telling you anything that's going on. And, <laughs> and like, it just makes sense. Like, there are, like Hollywood, I'm just, I'll show you, but like in terms of uh, hip hop, like Ahmet Udegren is the founder of Atlantic Records, which, you know, currently like Lil Uzi Vert signed to Atlantic Records, you know, Jay-Z signed to Atlantic Records, a huge number of the current hip hop scene is signed to Atlantic Records and Ahmed Udegren, the founder of Atlantic Records, went to Jesuit Georgetown University. That's right. <laughs> and currently <clears throat> Will Tanius is a currently a high up executive at Universal Music. Uh in the music department went to Georgetown University. I'm just gonna show you this uh in this video. I thought this was interesting. Um I was just on the hot new hip hop and I came across the Georgetown University in the, the headlines. And that is, I'll show you that first. This is the most recent one. It was Meek Mill spoke at Georgetown University like this week. Meek Mill is a big puppet right now. <laughs> you know, because music has like no meaning to it, no no message. Uh, you know, it's all about money, 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 drugs, bitches, etc. But look at this Meek Mill on criminal justice reform. Look at this right here. Like I, for some reason I can't. Uh, I'm trying to click on it here. I wonder if you can get a full uh, uh, disclosure of what the what was said in the lecture. But supposedly Meek Mill said that. And again, what all these rappers are doing, and I've noticed, is that they're pushing, like, that they're using these uh, rappers to push a race war. And it's right in harmony with Black Lives Matter. You know, you can you can you can see how like uh, you know all the Jesuit universities support Black Lives Matter openly, like all 28 of them. You know, Santa Clara, Georgetown, Fordham, Rockhurst, University of San Francisco, you name it. Okay, but like Meek Mill spoke on cr criminal justice reform, and he was saying how the American justice system favors rich white people, again, to create racial division. Going all the way back to San Francisco, and the, the Black Lives, and the Jesuit Fortress of San Francisco, and the Black Lives Matter movement, and the, uh, or not Black Lives Matter, the uh, Black Panthers movement in uh, the 60s, with the Jesuit, with the Jesuit Eugene Boyle, out of San Francisco was coordinating this, but uh, in the Sacred Heart Covenant Church in San Francisco, um, that's where the Black Panthers uh, were headquartered in a Catholic church. And uh, but the Jesuits, uh, on the lead of the Jesuits, the young blacks were shown pictures of uh, white police officers depicted as pigs, and they were told that all the pro all of their problems were due to white people. Uh, R. W. Thompson even sources this in his book. Um, the source for this is the footprints of the Jesuits. He talks about how the Jesuits and their Paraguayan reductions uh, to get the Indians into submission to them would uh, told the told the, the local Guarani and Paraguayans that um, the uh, the white Spaniards and the white Portuguese were possessed by devils and that they were out to kill them. They were out to rape their families, etc. But I just think this is a it's <laughs> just look at like, just look at the Instagram accounts of some of these rappers I'm showing in this video. You see, like they're complete puppets. But uh, apparently, like, I just saw this because I, I saw Meek Mill. I saw I was reading a headline. Meek Mill says he's uh, going to drop his new album. He announced this at Georgetown University while he's doing a criminal justice reform. <laughs> See if I can get a photo of this. Uh, yeah, there he is, right there at Georgetown. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, the next rapper I found at Georgetown here is Talib Kweli is another fake so-called deep rapper. And if you look at Talib Kweli, I've actually commented on this guy's Instagram account because it's so obvious how much race baiting the guy is doing. Like just trying to get whites and blacks uh, divided against each other. You know, the Jesuits' favorite maxim is divide and conquer. That is their favorite maxim. <laughs> You see here, Talib Kweli, this, this guy right here is a Georgetown University professor, Michael Eric Dyson. He's, uh, I saw this guy saying that like Lil Wayne was like a hero for the black community, this Jesuit trained professor on live TV with a straight face. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is guy, this is him here. He's, he's, this guy's a big puppet. He goes on all like the uh, mainstream media channels. He goes on ESPN quite a bit, which is owned by Disney and the Hearst Communications. There is a Jesuit priest, uh, Leo O'Donovan, that was on the board of directors, may still even be on the board of directors at Disney. 
Uh, yeah, that's uh, this is Michael Eric Dyson. So Michael Eric Dyson had a discussion of religion and hip hop with the panel of artists, uh, the intersections of religion and hip hop hip hop with Talib Kweli earlier this month. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think you can some the the video of this isn't loading, but I think you can find the video of this conference out there. If you want to watch it. You just uh, but why these rappers like speaking at Jesuit universities? You see that they're puppets, and that's why they don't speak out. They don't tell any truth. You'll you'll never hear Talib Kweli explaining how the Jesuits were behind 9/11. How like the director of the CIA, George Tenet, went to Jesuit Georgetown University, the same school you're speaking at. Fucking sell out. But <laughs> so, yeah, but this is a picture of Talib Kweli right here, and he's race baiting on his Instagram quite a bit right now. Like, uh, <laughs> just look at his Instagram. You see what I mean? Yeah, but he, Talib spoke at Georgetown in 2014, and uh, re recently Nas spoke at Georgetown University, another fake conscious rapper. Here you go, Nas again. He, Nas spoke with Michael Eric Dyson in 2014. Right here, you can watch this video here. It's 52 minutes. <laughs> you know, Nas has lyric. Nas is a Freemason as well, even raps. Like, uh, he says it in his raps, in his song, Be a Nigger Too, he says that he's a Freemason. Um... But yeah, Nas spoke at Georgetown University. This was hilarious right here. This song by Rick Ross. Rick Ross is a huge puppet. Rick Ross, it, it's not even his real name. He was a former prison guard. And like Rick Ross was the name of like a Los Angeles gangster that Rick Ross, the rapper, like took. Like he's a complete fake. But he, he did this song here called Georgetown. Or uh, or it's um the song's uh Fat Trell. But the, you see here that the song is like Georgetown is like the name and the album cover is Georgetown. And you see how like the, like I'll show you the, the the actual mascot for the Jesuit Georgetown University is a bulldog. That like you see here like Rick Ross is putting on the mascot of the Jesuit school and you see the cross like right here. Like you just familiar like, like the Catholic Church, you know. <laughs> Can't make that up. But yeah, like, this is the Georgetown. Do you see Jack the Bulldog is the Georgetown University? Uh, mascot and i thought that's hilarious that rick ross um did a song with the the, jo the jesuit mascot in the in the album cover like the album or the song art rick ross also has a song with jay-z called uh, freemason and i'll show you here jay-z has like the jay-z is like probably the biggest puppet in hip-hop like him beyonce or, and drake i wonder if drake spoken at georgetown meek mill me <laughs> it'd be funny because like, the whole drake meek mill uh that whole like staged beef like it was just like mind control <laughs> like ultimately i'm gonna see if anyone's in the uh yeah look at this though so there's actually a good course that's being done on jay-z at georgetown like a sociology course <laughs> recommend uh yeah I've, I've watched this video is really entertaining right here michael eric dyson's like running the course <laughs> Okay, look at this georgetown so jesuit georgetown and guys this is the same jesuit georgetown university that's like published a newspaper in 2016 openly calling for population engineering and openly calling to reduce the fertility rates globally uh, i actually i did a video on that <laughs> but it was published in 2016 by the uh georgetown philosophy department um yeah look at this hoyas and hova georgetown sociology course focuses on rap star jay-z i wonder why like hip-hop is completely silent on like this Jesuit insurgency that's taking place all around us. We have a Jesuit, like the United States has a Jesuit trained president, Donald Trump. The current head of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, Jesuit trained at Georgetown. The current United States trade representative, Jesuit trained at Georgetown. Um, that, that being Robert Lighthizer. The current United States Secretary of Homeland Security, Kristen Nielsen, Jesuit educated at Georgetown. The, Donald Trump's current chief of staff, John F. Kelly, Jesuit educated at Georgetown. The current head of the United States budget and uh, yeah, the, the current head of the United States administration of the budget and office management, Mick Mulvaney, Jesuit educated at Georgetown. So like, I, w I wonder why like these rappers are quiet on <laughs> the Jesuit uh, insurgency. If you see here, um, there's going to be a sociology course. The code is even SOCI124. It's a first year course. The sociology of hip hop, urban theodicy of jay-z i bet jay-z didn't even write most of his lyrics like real shit and he's getting a, a course on him at georgetown <laughs> uh, that's funny let me see if anyone's in the comments this is the guy though that uh, i'll show you the guy who founded atlantic records while i'm loading up my phone here 
just kind of like how a Jesuit priest, you know, actually like the, the actual Hollywood motion predictor, like code was drafted by a Jesuit priest, Daniel Aloysius Lord, and the head of the uh, Motion Picture Association or the Production Code Administration, Joseph Ignatius Breen, like was Jesuit trained at uh, jo Jesuit St. Joseph's University and had a Jesuit priest as a brother. But here's Amit Udegren right here. You see here, he's the best known as the, he, he's the founder of Atlantic Records. You can read an article on like AtlanticRecords.com saying Amit Udegren is the founder. You see Amit Udegren right here, founder of Atlantic Records. Okay. <laughs> Sexual assault allegations. 2017, Dorothea Calvello alleged Udegren tried to remove her underwear and groped her, her shirt at a public event in 1987. Interesting. <laughs> um, but you see here, Udegren. <clears throat> Where did he go to school? Oh, he went to, uh, he took medieval philosophy at Georgetown. <laughs> okay. So you have the founder of Atlantic Records, currently went to Jesuit Georgetown University. Let's just see, like, the current, uh, who's on the Atlantic Records. It's a, it's a pretty big list. Wiz Khalifa, all, like, the mindless garbage on the, like, on the radio. Wiz Khalifa, Cardi B, Ty Dolla Sign, Kodak Black. Meek Mill, who's spoken at Georgetown, Lula Z. Vert, <laughs> Migos. Wonder if, uh, let's see if. Georgetown University did a night, Derek Nice for what tribute? That's funny. Um, I don't think Drake has. Oh, he Drake he rapped at Capital One Arena, which is owned by um, what's this guy's name here? Ted. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Not a, not a direct connection to Drake, but the guy who owns the uh, Capital One Arena, Ted Leonis, he also owns the Washington Capitals. He owns the Washington Washington Wizards as well. Um, you see here. Ted Leonis went to Jesuit Georgetown University. Here, right there. Let me just, uh, yeah, so uh, you see all these fake conscious rappers are speaking at Georgetown um, and they're puppets for the Jesuits. There's only been like one rap song like that I've ever seen that was called the Jesuits and it was made by Mac Miller and it didn't really have any content about the Jesuits <laughs> compared to how good a conceptual song could have been about the Jesuits if you actually like knew the history. Type of thing. Yeah, let me see who's in the chat here. Do I have yeah, Jesuit celebrity go hand in hand? Absolutely. Actually, have you true? Have you seen the picture of um? Let me see here. Lionel Richie. Yeah, this Lionel Richie met with uh, a jet, the Jesuit president of Boston College. Where was that photo? Let me try to find that for you. Yeah, here it is here. Yeah, so Lionel Richie's still even like a puppet to this day. Here is Lionel Richie with Donald Moen, SJ, president of Boston College. <laughs> Look at that. And like, it, it, the, it, it's all over the place. Like, um, I'll show you this Jesuit right here. I found, I found this Jesuit was, was like in a Jesuit Daniel A. Lord actually drafted, like Daniel A. Lord, SJ, actually drafted the production code. I wrote a long, uh, article post on it on my uh, blog uh, the subreddit Jesuit World Order type in r slash uh, Jesuit World Order you see here the Reverend Thomas B Birmingham SJ was actually like involved in the like the, the making of the uh, exorcist movie he worked as a technical advisor and he acted in the movie <laughs> see your exorcist the uh, and, I, and I and I've covered in previous videos William Peter Blatty um, the who wrote the Exorcist books uh, and like directed the movies uh, was educated by the Jesuits at Georgetown and Brooklyn Prep and said that like the time he spent at Jesuit Georgetown University was like the best time of his life because he never felt so at home. You know, all that trash. <laughs> yeah, and you see, Birmingham, the Jesuit Thomas Birmingham taught uh, William Blatty at the Jesuit Brooklyn Prep in the mid '40s <laughs> and worked at the same time at Georgetown while Blatty was attending.
Okay, but you see here, um, and even in the in the the, uh, the Exorcist book, at, you see at the very end of the book, like t the Jesuit trained Thomas Blatty thanks the Jesuit Reverend Thomas Birmingham at the end of the book. <laughs> you see, I just thought that was interesting. Um, like for so for the movie The Exorcist, Thomas B. Birmingham S.J. along with Jesuit fathers John Nicola and William O'Malley S.J. all Jesuits served as technical advisors. And the, and the Georgetown University was referenced in the movie The, the Exorcist in the fiction, which is you see here. In addition, Birmingham and uh, Jesuits uh, Thomas Birmingham S.J. and uh, William O'Malley S.J. had minor acting roles in the film, with Birmingham portraying the character Tom, the president of Georgetown University, in the film. <laughs> so, and actually, you know, like Georgetown, like, uh, like another funny like kind of fiction, like like celebrity play on Georgetown is like the in the show Archer. The secret agent Archer, who founds like the uh, the Secret Service ISIS, you know, like International Secret Intelligence Service. Like, if there is an International Secret Intelligence Service, it's the Jesuits. But it's found Archer goes to the Georgetown University in season two. <laughs> Are Jesuits devout Catholics? Um, no, they're well, like well, they're kind of the Jesuits are like a very rogue element. Like, um, like in the past, like uh, they won't hesitate to uh, to persecute Catholics to further their own ends. But it was like for at least like the the, the Jesuits and like the Pope as like the image of the infallible uh, Pontiff do go hand in hand. Like the Jesuits are very feudalistic. But yeah, I don't want to get too off topic with the Exorcist. There, you see, like the Jesuits in Hollywood are hand like go hand in hand. Rap music is ultimately Hollywood. It's entertainment. And you see these rappers are speaking at Georgetown. Talib Kweli. Um, Nas, Jay Z, and Meek Mill, you know, four of like some of the biggest names in rap right now are speaking at Georgetown, and even like Rick Ross did the song called Georgetown with the with the uh, mascot of the Jesuit University in the background. But you see, I just wanted to point that out. I just thought it was interesting. I don't see like uh, when you, if you try to look at like <clears throat> an analysis of like m the music industry and uh, hip hop, it's all just filled with shells on the internet. So I just wanted to put something out there. But uh, that's all for this one, YouTube. Peace and love. Oh, actually with FEMA. Yeah, honestly, I, I can't think of <clears throat> I can't think of an open FEMA director right now that I can think of that's controlled by the Jesuits. I can tell you like the Defense Intelligence Agency will be working with FEMA. The, the, the founding director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, Francis Joseph Carroll, was trained by the Jesuits at Loyola, Chicago and was going to become a Catholic priest at the St. Mary's uh, Seminary in uh, Chicago. And I think Francis Joseph Carroll is actually descended of the three Carrolls who actually like played a pivotal part in founding America. Um, and the DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, is very close with FEMA, very uh, interrelated government agencies. And the current head of the DHS, Kristen Nielsen, uh, went to Jesuit Georgetown. The D Department of Homeland Security, the guy who led the, the, trans the White House transition team to creating the Department of Homeland Security, John C. Gannon, is a current professor at Georgetown. And John C. Gannon was trained by the Jesuits at Holy Cross and was a Jesuit volunteer corps. Oh, well, yeah, 9-11, well, actually, you know, the, the deputy director of the, uh, the CIA during 9-11, John Brennan, je trained by the Jesuits at Fordham. The director of the CIA, George Tennant, trained by the Jesuits at Georgetown. He had the head of the Saudi Arabia's intelligence agency, Prince al uh, uh yeah, Prince al taruki Farad. I'm pronouncing that right. The head of Saudi's intelligence agency who retired 10 days before 9-11 was trained by the Jesuits at Georgetown when he was a classmate of Bill Clinton. He had the first reporter on that scene of 9-11 was Mika Brzezinski on MSNBC, who was trained by the Jesuits at Georgetown. Um, even like the president of Georgetown at the time, John DeGoya, was a, a Knight of Malta, which, uh, you know, which is interesting. The current, the president of JINSA, uh, Jewish in, uh, Institute of National Security in America, David P. Steinem, went to Jesuit Georgetown and JINSA uh, was working hand in hand with the Project for a New American Century post 9-11 to launch uh, the war in Iraq. Lots of connections uh, with Jesuits and Georgetown. Jesuits, Georgetown and 9-11 uh, intrigue. Tons of connections there. But I'm, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Uh, peace and love and uh, nam nas. Oh, actually, the last but you know, like, yeah, over history, like the Jesuits have probably been kicked out of like uh, 50, you know, 50, 50 different countries. You know, like just for one, one instance, like when they were banned in Venice in 1616, like the, the reason they were banned was because a copy of the Jesuit constitutions, like,
was made public it was actually read out loud at like the the, the venetian congress and like the, the people were so appalled at like the discuss like the just the absolute um filth of jesuit morality that like they, they booted the jesuits out of venice but um yeah i think that's all for this one youtube peace and love and uh nom nom, take care